Yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Fino back again with another Disrupt Gaming video and today we're going to be teaching you guys how to win games even if you suck. The worst of the worst, I'm going to teach you how to take that and turn it into a W. Don't don't ask how, just watch how. Okay? Let's go. And if you guys stick around to the end, I'll give you guys a bonus tip at the end of the video. That is right, an extra tip just for those of you guys who stick around. Let's get right into it. Okay, so starting things off strong, this is pretty common. For our first tip here, we have play support. Now we be like, what's support operator? If you don't know, but I'm sure a lot of you guys do know. Well, support operator is like the pillars or beams of your team. It's what your team falls back on for support. Now you'll be like, oh, that's a lot of pressure. I clicked on this video because I'm not that good. Well, it's okay. It's a pretty easy job. For the most part, on the support role, you'll be playing hard breachers such as Thermite, Ace, Habana, etc. You don't have to have good gun skill to be on these operators. It would help because you will have impact frags, but you don't need them because your main job is to get the wall done. You're getting jobs done that help your team get the frags, which takes the pressure off of you. And then if something goes wrong, you can pull out the card being like, hey man, I'm on support. I don't have to do good. But you know, still try to do good, but you don't have to do good. That's why I'm helping. So here's how your hard breachers are gonna work. You're gonna put your gadget on the wall, whether it's a hard breach charge, you know, anything, whichever operator you are, that gadget, you're gonna put it on the wall once it's cleared, and you're gonna blow up the wall. And then on the other side of the spectrum, when you're on defense, good support ops are plant denial operators. People that stop people from getting the bomb down and waste more time. These are operators such as Echo, Smoke, Maestro. All right, when it comes on how to play plant denial, when the bomb is going down, you'll be going onto your gadget, whether it is your Maestro cam, your Echo drone, or throwing your smoke canisters. I think Maestro is one of the best out of these, especially if you're not the best, because all you do is zap people and you're pretty safe when you do it. You can be hiding. Same thing with Echo, but Maestro has the best gun for this by far. He has an 81 bullet LMG with no recoil. Please take advantage of this. All right, now moving on to our next tip. This kind of coincides with being a support operator. Play slow. The longer you're alive, the more you help your team and impact the round. Because think about it. When someone dies on your team, instantly more pressure like okay wow there's more people alive on their team than there are on our team this sucks i don't like this because now your team needs to worry about picking up more kills but if you're staying alive your team's gonna have that one man advantage. other team the entire time will be pressured like okay they have people alive why do they have people alive so that's just gonna be in their head the entire time and while you're alive not only are you putting pressure on the enemy team's mental you can do more things you know you can shoot to delay you can make noise. You can do anything when you're alive. You know, you can you can play the game when you're alive, which is why it's good to be alive, obviously. All right, now you can do this whether you're dead or alive, but especially if you're dead, hop on cameras, cycle through cameras around the map, especially in the area around the site so people can know when they're getting pushed. But even all the cams that are up, just try to cycle through them. Don't stick on one cam, especially if you're the only one on cams because stuff might get lost and not get called out which may result in your teammates getting killed. Make sure to cycle through the cameras to see what's going on, let your teammates know what's happening. Which actually brings us on to our next tip. This is tip number four, give callouts. So when you're on cams or when you're dead, as I mentioned before, uh, tell people what's happening. You can do this when you're dead or alive because it doesn't even have to be on cameras. If you're shooting at someone, let your teammates know. Be like, hey, there's a guy CC window. I'm shooting at him right now, but uh, I'd appreciate right. if you guys realize that he's there too. But the main time you're going to want to give call outs that's most important is when you're dead or when you're on cameras in general, but when you're dead, because when you're dead, you're on cameras. That was our last tip, remember? Be on cameras when you're dead. Okay, but as I was saying, when you see someone on the cameras, be like, hey, there's a dude in this spot. So for example, let's say you're on the top main cam in clubhouse. Hey, there's a thermite coming up main stairs. Keep an eye on that. He's going to go master. And then, you know, from there, your teammates can work out. Well, okay, if he's going master, we should hold master door. And potato, potato, you know, like they get the idea, you know, bippity boppity boopity. Callouts will make or break, honestly, around a lot of the time, I've noticed. There's a lot of rounds where comms won't go through and then you die to things that were easily preventable. Callouts are one of the easiest ways to impact a round without actually having to do anything. Because to sit on cams, all you have to do is stare at a screen 
and then press a button and say, Hey guys, there's one here. And your teammates know what to do. It's like wall hacks, but for free. And it's not illegal and cheating. So take advantage of it. All right, now for all of you amazing, beautiful people who suck around. Or maybe you just skipped the video. But well, I'm going to pretend you watched the whole thing. And if you didn't, watch it. Nah, I'm kidding. But now, so for, the, for your bonus tip, crutch operators. And what I mean by a crutch operator is, so Google defines a crutch as a long stick, stick with a cross piece at the top used as support under the armpit by a person with an injury or disability. Now, that is not what we mean by a crutch, for the most part. You know how it says support? That's what we're doing. We're supporting ourselves, because we're not good. We're gonna take operators who take almost no skill and use that to make us look good. Operators like this are primarily trap ops and then quote unquote toxic ops on attack. Hey guys, let me quickly interrupt this video to let you know that the DGL85 skin is currently in the shop. You can go pick this up right now, support the creators at DG, support the pro players and support the org as a whole. Not only are you getting dripped out in your loadouts, you're also helping out everyone working at DG. You'll look cool doing it, you'll be making us happy, it's great for everyone, you know, win-win. Uh, yeah, please do it, we love you. Trap ops include, but not limited to, Frost, Capkin, and Ella. Now first off, all three of these characters have shotguns. So if you suck, you can use these shotguns. And they also provide other benefits like opening rotates, but mainly shotguns are easy to use because they go anywhere. You look at someone, you shoot, chances are you'll shoot them. And you also have your traps, and if you don't know what the traps do, it inflicts damage upon anyone that walks through it, crosses it, or it'll might disorient them. For example, Ella Mines, they disorient you when you walk through them. Capkin traps, you walk through them, they go boom, it does damage. Cross mats, you land in them, you get downed, and then you're set to 25 HP. All of these things really, really suck to get hit by, which is why it's so good, because it takes no skill. You just have to put it in spots where you think people will walk by. And then when it comes to the attacking side of things, there's some toxic ops that are pretty good to use. The Kebby and Lion are the first thoughts when it comes to crutch operators, because the Kebby makes everyone's phones buzz where they have to stop, turn off their phone, or else they just hear their phone ringing the entire round like grandma did not get the memo that no, we do not care about your linguine recipe. We're all about that fettuccine out here. Am I right, boys? Anyways, then there's Lion, who forces you to stand still, unless if you want to be pinged through walls for a solid five seconds. Pretty annoying, also very good for being a little piece of garbage. But when it comes to using these crutch operators, don't go them every round. I personally think it's more of a, okay, well, I can't go support, and I need to do something helpful for the team. So I'll go this operator, because it's like, the side it's like the side character that does a lot of work you know it's like the oh i didn't realize how cool you were kind of friend but yeah now i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found all of these tips useful if you did feel free to leave a like subscribe it really helps when you comment for the algorithm so you know get our videos out there if it helped you it'll help others so thank you for your time i hope you have a great rest of your day go slam some kids in siege Make them mauled. Thank you. This was Fino. I am out.